Grizz here, and uh, today I wanted to show something. Well, we're kind of going to revisit uh, something from the past, but uh, I have a, a new addition that goes along with it that is quite nice. So I uh, thought it's a good excuse to break this one out again. And what we've got is a Garant. So Garant is a German brand sold by the Hoffman Group. Uh, Last year, they broke into the American market and opened a website selling in the United States market. Previously, these were, if you found these in the United States, they were just imported. But anyway, let's check. A, let's uh, uh, remind ourselves what this knife looks like. So we've got a 111 millimeter Victorinox that for whatever reason, they chose to print it upside down. At least as far as I'm concerned, it should be facing the other way. But nonetheless, we've got this lovely orange printing. 846,000 is the, uh, the model. There are like a serial, their part number or whatever. We've got this little embossed raised triangle emblem. That's their single. And on the back, we've got this, on both sides, we have like this two textured plastic thing with this line. It's a, it's a very handsome knife. These were, these are very popular. You know, uh, for, there was a while where they were kind of like a mystery and Americans weren't sure where they were coming from, but that's kind of, uh, you know, now you can just go right online and buy them anytime you want. So on the outside, we've got the usual accoutrements. We've got a plastic toothpick. Toothpick! We've got a set of tweezers, but the unique thing about these tweezers is that they have a metric rule marked on them, as well as having this orange tip that matches the logo, which is just very attractive looking. Very cool. And then finally, we've got this. Another. This is a very unique feature. Uh, I don't think many of the 111s, maybe the Work Champ, uh, most of them do not have the option to have a pen. So that's super cool. And to have the orange tip makes it even more special. Now let's look at some actual tools. We've got a four-turn corkscrew as usual. Notice that it comes with the uh, the little flathead screwdriver, and that's just comes standard with it. It basically comes with all the plus, you know, upgraded plus scale features. It's even got the hole for a pin. I don't know. I think it it might have came with a hole. It might have just lost the pin. I don't know. The pins are just like normal pins. They're nothing special. Uh, we've got a reamer. Bam. Good little reamer there. Of course, it's got the keychain, which is on a very unusual squared hook thing. I guess not unusual for 111s. 111s are not on my radar very much. I've got like one other one probably packed away somewhere, but other than that, this is this one I got because it's just beautiful. I paid like 70 bucks for this to get it imported from Ukraine back in the day, and uh, now you can buy them online for probably 45, 50 bucks. So let's look at the top tools. We've got a large flathead screwdriver can opener with a nice stiff uh, half stop. And it, you know, holds pretty firmly into place. Got the wire stripper, very beefy, very cool. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's a liner lock too. Interesting, spacer lock, maybe. But I think that's more of a spacer lock, but it operates like a liner lock. And then we've got a can opener with the 2D Phillips driver. Bam. Also small flathead, don't forget that guy. And then last but not least, we've got this beautiful, large main blade. Very nice, also locking, just like the screwdriver. So you've got this center spacer that acts like a liner lock for both. It also has a 90 degree stop. More like a uh, 85 degree stop really, but you know, or it's either an 85 or 105, something like that, but very cool. So why am I looking at this knife again? You're saying, hey, we've seen this knife like four times. All right, is your channel going downhill and you just need to milk it for views because this is the only knife that ever hit over 100K views? Well, yes. And also, um, more importantly, I got a addition to my Garant collection and that's this right here. Uh, the fine people at Hoffman Group uh, sent me this. They uh, apparently, after my first couple of videos on the grant, uh, they noticed that their sales they sold quite a few, and they reached out to me and asked me if there was anything in their catalog I wanted. And I, I, you know, I picked out a few things, and they sent me a few things of their choice, basically. But what we've got here is a grant flashlight, which is very cool. I do not presume 
maybe it is made in Germany. I don't know. It doesn't say, you know, made in China anywhere on it, but I, if I had to guess, I would assume it was made in China. So maybe it says it on here. Let's see. No, it doesn't. And maybe it is made in Germany. I usually don't say made in Germany. It's almost certainly made in China. But nonetheless, check out this nice uh, looking flashlight. It matches very well with this Garant. I mean, that is quite uh, the pair to carry there. Um, you're not gonna, I'm not going to do a demonstration on a flashlight. You know what it does. But I will say it's got, it, it's a it's a very simple design. There's no focus. Uh, there, I don't think you, there's no strobe or anything like that. But it does have a nice uh, even beam. It's a wide, it's not a tight focused beam. It's pretty wide, but the light is very uniform throughout the beam. You don't get that spot where it's like brighter in the center and then like has a ring of like not so bright around it. And it gets bright around the edges again, like with older flashlights. Uh, very nice. Um, what does this run on? I forget. Is this a rechargeable deal? I don't think it is. I think this is just on like a double A batteries or triple A batteries or something. I've had this for months sitting on this and just haven't gotten around to this video. So here we are. Yep, it takes AAA batteries, which I believe it came with. So that's cool. I think these are like 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks on their website, something like that. But man, if you've got a grant and you want a matching flashlight, I mean, as close as you can get matching in brand. I do like this little light up ring thing. I don't know why, but I just think that's cool. Like, uh, I think the purpose of that, if it gets like... You know, you can set it down like this or something. I have no idea. But either way, very cool little flashlight. Very cool little night. Thank you to uh, the Hoffman Group for sending me this junk. Uh, please, uh, you know, go check out their website. Uh, this isn't sponsored. They didn't pay me to do this or anything. I'm not putting that it's sponsored. They gave me the flashlight. I'm telling you, they gave me the flashlight. The knife I bought myself. So, uh, you know, whatever. Just, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay? Thanks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. PD Grizz out.